Okay, so I guess let's just start. Um, this is my sketchbook that I've been using for the squash project lately. Um, it's just a moleskin skin, skin watercolor album. Pretty simple, cheap. I have a sticker on it that I made. This is what I'm going to put on the next sketchbook, that one there. Crystals or something, mushrooms. Pretty cool. Uh, okay. Uh, this is what I've done so far. Um, yeah, I'll just run through these really quick. I like that one a lot. I probably should have started with that one. Um, but I started with this one instead. Pretty cool. I like that one. I don't know. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do today. Um, a snake lion winged lady. This is a palette that I used in the last video. It's really dry now. I'm going to reuse it for this one. Um, these are the brushes that I use. Really cheap. Really poor quality. Really inexpensive. This one's chopped off. Uh, I needed it to fit into a kit that I made uh, for plain air painting. Um, one thing that I get asked a lot is what kind of brushes I use and really it doesn't matter like I know a lot of uh, people say that you know it doesn't matter but what paper you use or paint or um, brand or brush or whatever just so long as it makes the mark that you want it to make and I think that's true I think there's not really anything special about your tools it's you that makes the mark and it's you that controls your tools so it doesn't really matter what you choose to use um just just practice with a bunch of different things i guess if you can and see what you like see what marks you like to make and see what your individual preferences are which is not to say that you should never ask um if you're curious about the materials or the tools that an artist uses, um, but just keep in mind that they'll most likely tell you that it doesn't matter. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're annoyed at you or frustrated that you asked. Um, it's just that it really doesn't matter. It, it matters to the individual artists, of course, because uh, I kind of want to say that that everyone has their own set of tools that they like to use and it's really um it just varies vastly from artist to artist what what they like to use the way that they make marks the way that they draw the way that they do things it doesn't i mean they could do they could do it with any tool pretty much um it doesn't have much to do with the tool it has everything to do with the individual. At least that's my uh, personal opinion. And you'll probably meet or talk to other artists that have different opinions on that, and that's okay. Um, there are a lot of different opinions out there about this kind of thing. It's looking a little bit rough right now, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's not the, the point of this project isn't to make a perfect piece every time. It's just, I mean, obviously, because they're not, they're all really rough and, and weird, I guess. But the point of it is to just do something, make something every single day uh, for as long as I can keep it up. I don't know how long this project is going to be. It's, it didn't really start off as a project. It just kind of started off as like a just I wanted to get better. I wanted to practice. But now I've got a couple of goals that I want to accomplish. But nothing big. Um, just practicing. Well, that's the only way I'm going to get better at it is to practice it. And, So one reason that I really wanted to do these gouache sketches 
is kind of the idea of commitment. Um, every time in the past I would get a new sketchbook and I would draw a few really terrible, just awful sketches in the front page and then I would <laughs> I would be really discouraged about it. It was, I'm sure this is a common experience, but looking, opening your sketchbook, your new sketchbook, and looking at these sketches that you're kind of ashamed of, you just feel kind of insecure about it and discouraged and you kind of just hide your sketchbook away and never look at it again. So this, I kind of wanted to focus on the idea of committing to an idea and no matter how nonsensical or or odd or whatever the idea might be, um, just commit to it and spend an hour or so on it and just do it and finish it and move on. <laughs> um, that sounds kind of weird. I hope that makes sense. But somewhat. Darkening up the crown. A lot of little wispies. And darkening up this point so it kind of stands out a little bit. Okay, and that's pretty much done. Now I'm gonna spray it with this clear spray called Workable, workable Fixative. Um, and, and if you look there, it just makes the colors a little bit richer, a little bit darker, and it kind of leaves this glossy look, and I, I think that looks nice. I mean, that's just my preference. It's not necessary at all. Um, I just like it. This is what it looks like with all the tape removed, everything's dry, and that's that.